So there are people who still wonder how to use Street View on uh, the iPhone running iOS 13. Well, the first option is of course to open up the App Store and download the official Google Street View app, which is good and works and everything, but I don't find it to be that good. I mean, there are better ways to do it and they are more connected with the Google Maps app. So there is this official Google Street View app, which you can go ahead and download, of course, and gives you the access to Street View and everything. There are also some third party apps that you can download from uh, in terms of the Street View for your iPhone running iOS 13. But the best idea, in my opinion, would be to use the classic Google Maps app. And I'm going to show you how you can use it. So it's like two apps merged into one. So the Street View app is simply dedicated to just Street View. And you may have thought that the Google Maps app is only for the maps without a street view, which is not true. You can go ahead and browse and go through the streets just like you would normally do on a PC, even right through the app. So let's open it up. I know that this video may sound to be or may seem to be a little bit easier or not that advanced, but there are people struggling with this, definitely. I can actually see that. Yeah, I can see what people search for and that's why I decided to make this video. Okay, so let's just, for example, open up Paris or go somewhere around here. And the way you access the street view is by clicking on this little picture of the street. You can see we are actually right there. But if you just want to go exactly to one specific spot, you just have to click on it. For example, you just zoom it in like this and then you hold down to a street just like that. And now you can see we have the picture with the additional information, of course. And now if you click on this, you are immediately, I mean, redirected to the street view app. So you are right there and pretty much the same user interface as in the dedicated Google Street View app. So I find it a little bit more useful in this since you don't really have to download the official Street View app and you can just move around like this. I mean, it's 360 on your phone without the need of a mouse. So they had to add this blue line at the bottom of the street for you to move around. Of course, it only lets you go where the street has been mapped. So you know how it works, but you probably wonder how to get here. Now, would I recommend you getting the classic or the official Street View app? By the way, I want to say that if you are interested in Apple, in iPhones, in iOS versions and that kind of stuff, I try to make videos about this topic and this kind of stuff. So if you are interested, then take a look at some of my other videos and also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. One thing that I, that I like to do is to simply skip the intro completely and just get to the point as fast as I can. So that's what I started to do recently. And if you like it, click on the like button and also subscribe if you are new on this channel. But let's continue now. Well, the good thing about the um, Google Street View app from Google is that it also gives you the suggestions where people, some, where people added the 360 spheres in some locations. So you can just go ahead and click uh, to some nature stuff and get like the 360 view of the nature right there. So that's pretty useful. But other than that, if you don't really care or don't really want to browse the entire earth, then you probably don't really need this app and you're probably good with the, with the Google Maps app and there you will be able to access it. But here you can go ahead and zoom into pretty much any street you would want and you're going to find something that is, you know, of course you can browse uh, the streets just like you would do it in the Google Maps app. But here we got some additions like of the spheres and everything. But other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. Only one more icon on your home screen. So, I mean, do it how you want. But if the question was yeah, how you do it, and this is basically the way to do it. And if you are interested in this kind of videos, then so, like I said, this is how you do it. And if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, found it a little bit helpful, or if you just wanted to search and, I mean, just quickly get the answer, then hopefully this help video helped you. And if you now know how you can browse the streets using your phone, you're running iOS 13, then just click on the subscribe button so you don't miss some future information about your iPhone. And see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.